Well, thanks for taking the time to click another Ultra Instinct video. Uh, like I say, Ultra Instinct's a mentality, it's not just a build, it's a playstyle. And today I'm highlighting my Black Widow and the gear setup I used to participate in the DSG Tester My Challenge in February. And I held the top spot with it. Uh, it's an event if you find yourself just bored of current content and interested in testing your builds against other people, definitely check out the Discord. Uh, the links will be in the description. Now uh, let's get to this breakdown. Alright, let's get to the stats and ratings. Uh, when it comes to my Widow rating, that what you're seeing right now is my base stats. Uh, this is when invisible, as you can see, the crit chance jumps up to 40%. And this is the fully buffed with invis, damage buff, and overcharged. But after patch 2.3, Later this month, uh, the crit chance will most likely drop back down to 40% because they're removing the crit chance that the damage buff provides, but it shouldn't matter much for my gear because of my gear setup. And also, like to point out, my uh, heroic recharge is boosted significantly because of Shadow Ops endowment. Uh, from my understanding, right now, it's working as intended, but it will get a slight adjustment later on. So enjoy it while it lasts. Looking at my melee gear, I'm running the Faultless Spark. Uh, honestly, the sad part of this, it's to farm it. It would more or less, more likely be a pain to hunt, but um, it's definitely worth the effort, especially if you get decent rolls on it. When it comes to my rage gear, I'm running the Discordant Elite. I know I got a god roll for my playstyle. Uh, the Spectre's Terror is a good reason I can run zero proficiency. And with the payload, all my range weapons can proc Vibranium. Um, if you're wondering, I mainly focus on high caliber, but it's, also, it's always depending on the situation. For my defense piece, it's mainly for the Reverberation Drive perk that gives 25% additional damage to Vibranium afflicted enemies. But the piece did roll with pretty decent perks. I mean, but the piece did roll with pretty good stats. And last but not least is the heroic piece, is the Natasha's Ribbon. This drops from the villain sectors, uh, there's also an exotic version, but I don't believe it can roll with Berserker perk. Um, a good second option is the Infiltrator Belt from the Elite Hives. If I'm able to get that and have decent stats on it, and also get a Berserker roll on it, I'll switch to it, but for now I'm sticking with the Natasha's Ribbon. For my first ISO is a Reactive Cosmic Surge. Always a decent piece to have, especially in Tachyon missions. Although the, ide the idea behind my Widow is not to get hit, you will get hit eventually sometimes, so it's just a good survivability piece to have. And on my second ISO, it's a Valor ISO for the increased damage and also rolled with 11.9% damage power attack. So it's just more or less a damage piece. When it comes to my skills, um, to be honest, the only one I could really recommend is the Night Terror, especially after 2.3, it would be more efficient to have it, especially if you're running with zero proficiency. And like I always point out, um, get the per when it comes to skills, just get the ones that work for your playstyle, because what might work for you might not work for me, and it's also dependent on your group and comp setup, so it's up in the air and that I'll leave it to you. On my final thoughts, uh, well that's a detailed look at my gear and I used this setup to enter the DSG test your might last month. Overall I'm liking the more hybrid playstyle with Widow, it demolishes 170s and can hold its own in the current ulti and raid, so the setup's good all around. I'm not 175 yet, but this is my discorded setup and I'm more or less sticking with it. Uh, if you're interested in a setup that's not raid gear intensive, I'll put a link in the description of what I used to use if, to give you just a better idea, but the playstyle is more or less the same. And with that said, thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, if this type of gameplay interests you and just trying to find something else to do in Avengers, check out our Discord. Uh, we run the Test Your Might Challenge monthly. Uh, links will be in the descriptions below. And thanks again for sticking around and uh, take it easy. Joshi ni noru nai, Katoshi.